Duke in the soccer movie. Um, the one, what was that new movie I saw? Um, that I'm blanking on the name of the movie. A soccer movie? Hold on, I, I'm looking it up. They make those? Ha! I'm funny. What? Okay. Shannon Tatum. The Step Up Guy himself. He was in the Step Up movie? He was the star of the first Step Up movie. The, the, the janitor? That was him? What janitor? I thought that there oh was like God, a janitor or something who like started dancing or some shit. No, no, no. Step Up was, he was some guy who lived in the quote unquote ghetto and he was a, a foster kid and he was hanging out with the black people and he was getting in trouble and then he became a janitor because he broke into the school and he started hanging around the white people and he became a better person he could dance and it was bullshit I heard the third step up was pretty good the dancing was Looking probably good. the best out of oh she's the man he no one of those goddamn step up movies are good no the dancing the third step move up movie was good the story was bullshit yeah, stories is always bullshit. I mean, and those fucking movies. Okay, I'm gonna watch this new Betty White thing. Why are we doing that? Well, I like Betty White. Like, good. Like, you're suddenly acting like, oh my god, she's the newest thing. She's been around for fucking ages. No, I'm no, but no, she just has a new show I'm coming out. Shannon Tatum tomorrow on Haywire. It's not even that good. I mean, do you even know what I'm talking about? It hasn't premiered yet. What? Hot? And, no, I thought you were talking about Hot in Cleveland. No, I'm talking about off off their rocker. Uh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> hey, Obi Wan Kenobi! I literally was about to say, "Hey, it's Spider Man." I thought that was Tobey Maguire. Oh He's my God, Julian! You're talking yourself right now, please. Uh, I have the same birthday as Tobey Maguire, so I share the same birthday as Spider Man. Oh yeah, bitches! It's not as Spider Man, Sam Raimi's Spider Man. I don't give a shit. Shut. Shut up! Let me have this, Julian. Starring Let Seth me have Logan, this. A nominee, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. The story of friendship and survival I'm about is not as good as two golden balls. Okay, okay, my chicken nuggets are ready. I'll be right back. You know, oh, like a baby during this you movie. You casino game. You have the best. Oh I my can't believe Tess Sugar didn't get a nomination. I, I, I cried so, so hard like during this movie. You can't change your situation. The only thing that you can change is how you choose to deal with it. I haven't cried that hard over a movie. I think you was good. Hello? Hello? Uh, that, like a really sick, like a girl's gonna go for me just cause I have cancer. For the millionth time, yes! Great song. Totally. I really hope I have he, he deserves it. He made a I was wrong. really nice. He deserves a uh, nomination for Hesher. That was brilliant. Have you seen Hesher? You need to watch this. I have. Have you seen Hesher? Oh. Let's see that. Fine, I'll make a deal with you right now. I'll watch Hesher, you watch 50 50. Deal. No, you need to watch Super. Great films. I'll come watch Super from later. No, watch Super and first. In a year with an abundance of wonderful the Nine Paris. These I've seen were the it. Best. Oh. <laughs> Here are the nominees for best screenplay. As of March? No. no. This is not going to win. Paris. No. Artist. No. The, I thought it was a silent film. The artist. He still has the screenplay. Well, they still have a screenplay. Let's go, Midnight Paris! For the descendants, Alexander Payne, Nat Faxon, Jim Rash. Okay, the, those were like Stan four Turbin, fake screenplay by Steve Zellion, Aaron Sorkin. The artist. Yay! And the Golden Globe goes to... Oh. Woody Allen, Midnight Impact. Who, who won? Midnight Paris. Yes! Oh, fuck yeah! Well, Woody could not be here tonight. Woody couldn't so, be there um, because he's a pedophile. He say thank you to the Hollywood ah. Fine Press. Is that See what's up? Come and get it, Woody. Woody Allen is She was up. Hey, God damn it. And what? He married, he married his daughter. Yeah, you think, you think that started when she turned 18? 
Stepdaughter, you These fucking sicko! stunning work, heartbreaking <laughs> and bold. Like, that that was, any the better. Don't <laughs> stop related! Don't stop somebody didn't marry. Sorry. True, but hey, look, I'm gonna make a Midnight in Paris, a movie that just moved me to my core. I don't care. Just let me have this. Look, Midnight in Paris moved me to my core as much as any of his movies do. So look, Here after Midnight in Paris, he can do whatever the fuck he wants as long as he keeps making movies like that. I don't give a fuck shit. Movie. Now go, okay. yeah, alright, so, fuck off. Go Kelly McDonald. Kelly McDonald or Walking Empire? So he ever got on the fuck off, you fuck off, Becky. Evan Rachel Wood, Mildred Pierce. Maggie Smith, Downton Abbey, Masterpiece Classic. Oh wait, just go- Oh, just go Awesome. Jessica Lange, American Horror Story. By the way, she just went for American Horror Story. I'm too scared to watch. Cause you're a pussy. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Maggie Smith. Is it actually scary? Okay, look, it can get scary, this but again, it's like my Jessica guilty Lang's pleasure. Win, it's like True Blood. It's my guilty pleasure, she though. I just, there's nothing wrong with True Blood? Blue Sky, Tootsie, and there, look, I, well, I thought that at first, but then there was plenty that came wrong with it. But I still love it. Hey, Mass Parade, I still love it, so you can't hate me, because I still love Ooh. it. Anyway. But, uh, there, it, you know, there are some actual genuine scary moments on American Horror Story. To me, at least. Oh, well, oh, this is lovely. Thank you very much. Um, Better than every horror movie that's being released so right now. Tucker and Dale was pretty good. And, uh, I, I still haven't seen it. That's, that's uh, more comedy and horror. Oh I yeah, I know. FX. But it did something brilliant. Would, um, that was that was like a to thank the great movie. group of actors that I had the pleasure. Uh, I, I do plan on seeing it, I like tomorrow crew. since I don't have school. Um, but more than anything, I want to thank you for I can see her bra. I find it more and more Whoa. rare, or rarer, uh, every Sorry, year. Just the light doesn't look that bad for her age. To find a piece of work that is really beautiful. Looks pretty written, damn good if I, and I, gives I will you admit. Something to do, and it certainly was this. You wouldn't so say I'd no, like darling. The writers, uh, I'd like they to do, thank they do, they uh, do, and Ryan, you know, dial themselves up when it comes to these TV to shows. This. Uh, None of you I say no to it. that. It's wonderful. No, no I, I, and, you know, um, I, I thought yeah. just going. That's it. I don't know. Wouldn't that be awkward if she like broke her hip or something? In the now, show? women are making Felicity Huffman. They're married, right? Yes, they are married. They're married. The still married. The director and co-writer of the film. Well, I've, I've, I said they're married. So that would mean they're still married. The Golden Globes on NBC. Oh, yeah. The iPhone 4S has an all-new camera with eight megapixels and advanced. Hello. Hello. No, I was. I was checking to see if I got on the show. But on the you make thing. really bad tea. <laughs> what? God damn it, Red Rose is terrible tea. I've never had a tea. Okay, listen. We're, tea can't go bad, but Red Rose is. Toy is Hunters. Tea. What is Toy Hunters? Wait. Wait, did they just have a tea advertising on your yeah. TV? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, it's I Canada. Yeah, I guess well, uh, they do that here too, except it's always just nest tea. Or not oh, no, nest no. Tea, it's it's like, an actual brand of like tea, tea bags. <laughs> tea bags. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, 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 fuck, I had a tea bag joke, but then I forgot. This looks lame. What? No, I'm watching a granola bar commercial. Your granola bar commercial is probably a lot better than what we're watching. Uh, inspired by... God damn, I'm oh, sorry. Oh, it's, it's a commercial. It's John Krasinski's career just pooping. Hey, dude, that guy got in the movie with Meryl Streep, Steve Martin, and Alec Baldwin. I'm pretty sure he's had a good career. Yeah, but that's a, that's a poop from his career. That movie looks stupid. I liked it. I liked it. It's complicated, actually. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking oh. about... Uh, oh, well, oh, fucking Family Whale movie. Yeah, it looks yeah. That looks terrible. Do you want to watch Toy Hunters? Oh, what's going to happen? 
One of my friends in, fil in our film class just actually there told me he loved Sucker Punch a lot. <sighs> makes me sad. No, it makes me sound like he loved fuck? Sucker Punch. How can I like that piece of shit? I don't Did you see it? I don't you know who oh loves Sucker Punch? Um, don't give me saw that piece of shit. Phoenix. Do you like Sucker Punch? Oh, hell no. Who? I'd rather take a real Sucker Punch than like that movie. Yo, I heard that a cruise... Ha, <laughs> that's so ironic that there's an advertisement for a cruise I'd rather, I'd when rather, the news was saying there was, a, like, a serious I'd incident. A, I'd rather have Megan bite my penis off of her teeth than, uh, watch Sucker Punch. Haven't you had that done already? Uh, she just bites gently. Thank you for giving us those details. I didn't go deeply, so you don't know what she does. Mm -hmm. We have to go deeper. Oh, she does. Oh, oh, that's deeper. right. She goes deeper on you, man. Yeah. I, I'm gonna be a gentleman. What am I watching? Aren't you, uh, are you bringing Megan to, uh, SpillCon? I asked her, and she's actually thinking about it. Because then I'll come, if she comes. Because <laughs> <laughs> no. you know you'll lose her to him. No, I wouldn't I'm do gonna that. I'm going to keep her far away from Brennan. Brennan? Um, Why are you going to keep her far away from Brennan? Brennan's uh, got a yeah, girlfriend. I, I was joking, shit. I'm going to keep her far, far away from Rubio, though. Rubio's got a girlfriend. What's Rubio going to do? Dude, goddamn! I don't want him. You better dude, worry I, about Nick Hodges. That's what you need to worry about. Nick I'm worried about Tyler. Nick Hodges, Nick Hodges robs the cradle. No, he doesn't. Tyler's of age. Dude. Okay. Dude, if I bring my Our girlfriend around, Doc Rue is like, okay, we need to talk. Yeah, oh, but Tyler, Tyler will hurt the girl if she's you know, a woman. That happens. I'll give you some clues. She's always vogue. The way she's a material and Megan girl. are so similar is just like eerie. I swear to God. They look, they, uh, Please welcome know. Madonna. You sure they want, like, uh, switched at birth? I'm trying. Oh, my God. Yeah. I was like, hey, uh, hey, Megan. So, I, so hey, hey, honey, I got my friend Skyler, who's, a, who's, almost, who's like an exact so clone of you, like except for the hair. Then why don't She's you that over short. Here and do something about it? They are like almost the same height. I would say like what? I I would think. I Megan haven't kissed a girl in a few years. Uh, or a, or or an inch or two taller. Uh, they both uh are wicked. They uh both love animals. Love music a lot. Uh, wear glasses. Okay. Ha moving right along. Have, have um, you know, cute little laughs. I grew up watching movies. Like and, most okay, I could room. go on and on how I was like, God that, damn, this movies that allowed I, my imagination What the fuck's to going on in this world? That made me believe Are you that just trying to tell us that you want to fuck Tyler? No, I'm not doing that. Made by Dude, I, the likes of Fellini, so, you obviously haven't heard I saw how you looked at her on the um, video feed doing Spill. That's correct. Okay, are you talking about the nipple prank? No, no, not the nipple prank. Y'all missed like, that, didn't you? <laughs> the flowers no, I got a ticket for China. Flower War for wait, this Wait, 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 Julie, did you not, did you not, oh wait, did you not know about that? The nipple prank me and Skyler did? The kid with the bike. What? Nipple? Okay, okay, here's, here's what's going on. You remember, you already, you, all right, basically you were there, opening party at the Scoot Inn. The skin I live in. With the Spain. terrible fucking battle raps going on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, me and Skylar and Nick and a few hours were in front and of the, the webcam. Corey was shoot? outside, so we were just in front of the webcam on the live feed thinking, eh, I don't know, and everyone was wrong. asking Skylar to show her tits. So I, pour, so I pull her to the side, oh, far away from the camera, and said, okay, how we, I got an idea of a prank. Except you the tell him, you actually act really convincing, so I'm going to show you guys my tits. Oscar, and then right last second, I, I jump in, I jump in front with my shirt off and show them my nipple. Oh, I, I think I remember that. Yeah, and we did it, and, uh, and Masquerade was in there. Masquerade was there, chair. Uh, Your nipple looks sexy, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I was think, there. Uh, 
Michael Barker. Oh, I say anything. Michael. And I believe Masquerade is also people. watching you by uh, uh, amazing performance on Karaoke Apocalypse. Yes, I Thank did. You, and you saw the, and you saw how sexy I am. Then I was coming up uh, on the stage. Ripping uh, my shirt. You know, uh, I kind of regret doing the whole server thing now because when we, because when I do karaoke uh, apocalypse again, people are gonna want to know what I'm gonna do next. <laughs> Dude, if you get to go again and I don't get to go, I'm gonna go bitch to Corey. Dude, they, they, dude, they're trying to do the whole thing where they it's a duet thing. So if I go on stage, you come with me, dude. I just I don't know, man. I might have three other arrangements. Like if Steve is there, we're gonna have to sing a song. Okay. Uh, hold on, guys. Oh, I'll be right back. To be continued. What the fuck? I damn it, man. That's Ladies and gentlemen, six-time Golden Globe winner, Dustin Hoffman. He looks pissed to be there. He's like, God, fuck first. yourself, dude! Uh, okay, okay, I'm, I'm back, I'm back. I just okay. want to say that... Uh, but yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, love of my people are going to want to know how I'm going to top ripping my shirt off and jumping off stage here, now. Um, I think I may have something. Like, uh, I might write something across my chest or something. The five women in the next category are incredibly talented actresses here. Are the nominees. I'm gonna go Best for Julianne Margulies. In the TV series oh, wait, who's, who the fuck's nominated again? Claire Danes. Homeland. I know, actress, TV. Oh, yeah, I'm going for uh, Ju Julianne Margulies for The Good Wife. Mireille Enos. The Killing. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I love the good wife. Juliana Margulis. She's great on the good wife. How the fuck Callie Form from Necessary Roughness is nominated, I don't My know. My generation, Madeline Stowe, Revenge. Yo, is Carlisle there? Callie Thorne. No. Necessary Roughness. Oh, I oh, was on the, uh, the, the Coco. You no, who the fuck just won? Oh, Golden Claire Dang. Okay, Gold Claire Dang's won. I'm actually glad about it. I'm actually, I'm actually not upset. This is good. Oh, yeah, this is good. This is where I want to wear an evening dress, too. This is the third win and third nomination um, for Claire Dane. She previously won for the eighth movie, yeah, uh, Temple Grandin. I'm not sure how I'm going to... So you know, like, uh, again, uh, how, again, people are going to want to know, hey, we're going to do a karaoke apocalypse this year. Uh, take my pants off? I don't know. I might take my pants off, yeah. Um, Who's all for that? None of you. Okay, so I first won know. this award when uh, I was 15. I might, my so I, might I might write something and across was, my chest uh, and then rest my shirt off in my performance. One is. And the first thing I did when, oh, I, when shade I left the stage was burst into tears spill. because I realized I had what? forgotten to thank my parents. I'll shave the spill and, logo um, into I my chest. I brought my mom with me tonight, Carla. No. And as your friend, I'm not. I am just so lucky to have another oh, opportunity to back. let them know no. how, how no, deeply see, grateful I am for their love back. and encouragement and, and oh, yeah, any fulfillment I have pop, as a person right? named yeah, five bucks. in large part to you. you. So nice thank you. Sam. Um, thank you I to will. my husband, <laughs> I, what I, my, what, my, what my, what new -ish my family, uh, campaign who, oh, uh, get money. who, who Although, keeps if me I sane do and happy as I can, Megan does so actually sane. come, I'm not sure, I'm like, so happy. okay, um, thank you, how the, the fuck do I get away with this, with still keeping my thing deep, and my woman, uh, Gideon Raff, the, inv the innovators of this show, this brilliant show, for the writers, for, for, for giving me this part that is so exquisite, so divine, uh, to show time to fathers, um, and to, this cast, I, I could not be in finer, be more brilliant, more generous, more kind company. Uh, thank you to my team, yeah. Stephanie Ritz, Brian Swarcher, Michael Agley, Jody Gottlieb, the favorite Lurie, no, thank you. This is a huge, huge honor, tablet. thank you. All right, here's a, all right, fingers crossed, I might get on this one. Uh, NBC's telecast of the 16th Are you calling in, Jordan? Yeah. I call in usually, I called in last year. Oh. And by oh. I did too. I got on last year. Make something I, I just complained about <sighs> uh. Who will win Best Actor in a television series? Oh, I'm watching an American Idol commercial. I'm sorry to hear that. Ernst and Young know the answer. We'll find out 
next. I couldn't tell who has more beautiful flowing hair. JLO or McVeigh? <laughs> or what's or the or what's his name? Steven Tyler? Yes. Because <laughs> they're both their hair's both like blowing both, in the wind. Because they're both women. Oh. What the fuck are we talking about? Steven Tyler, how she's American a Idol? woman. Oh, American Idol sucks. I, I disagree. Oh, uh, god damn it. I did not want to get into this argument. Like, I don't like the show, but I don't think it sucks. I think that gives people very awesome careers. Uh, 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 I'm pretty sure one of the winners' career actually did last for like 15 minutes. They have a great Stella commercial at the movie theater sometimes. What? Like? Wait, wait, for Stella the TV show? No, Stella Artois. Oh, oh, such a good beer! I haven't tried it. Really? Yeah. You like it, Sam? Yes, I, think, I do. I, I think it's pretty good. I don't think it's amazing. Oh, um, I don't really like just beer. To drink it? The only beer yeah. I've, the only straight up beer I've had that I tasted that I thought was good enough for me to consume one after one is Blue Moon. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's it's fucking good. I mean, Sam. Yeah, I mean, Julian saw. Yeah, Julian saw me knocking back a few. And, yeah, uh, Blue Moon for punks. I don't give a shit. Julian PBR. saw me. Julian saw me knocking back a few at uh, Austin Karaoke and a couple more at uh, Jordan. I do. Somebody Jordan, just gave you some I'm... old English. <laughs> Let Julian say what he was gonna say. Je voulais te parler en français, Monsieur Cobb. J'ai entendu oh. que, je, que tu parles français. Alors je voulais le savoir moi-même. Ah uh, oui oui. Is he speaking German? French. French. I know that. Oh, God damn, Surfer, how stupid are you? Okay, now you call me stupid. I'm about to hang up on you. <laughs> I'm so mean. You've changed since you went with the Austin. You have changed. Il est devenu un connard. S'il vous plaît, ça va pas grave. He's fool. Yes, Steve. Julian, do you just realize by us speaking French, we just made Sam wet? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Sam, are you so wet from that? Dripping. <laughs> uh, dude, we can open a swimming pool between our legs. Or to quote Pam in the Archer commercials, we can, like, drown a kid in there. If we want it. Ah, damn it, Corey. Why are they introducing Catherine McPhee like she's never done anything before? Uh, the only thing I remember her from is like an episode of Community. She was what? in, um, she was in that, uh, the house bunny. I, what else has Catherine McPhee done? But it's not, this is not her first role. What? This is not the first role she's ever done. I'm Does anyone? Oh, yeah, man. she was on Community. What else has she done? House Bunny. Welcome okay, to what the else Golden besides Global that? Wars. Doesn't matter. And this is not her first thing. Be saying introduce. Well, you know how our fucking eight. Well, you know our fucking society with ADHD and ADD. Bridesmaid. This tale of a disastrous maid Someone of honor not at her for best friend's months. wedding is oh, outrageously sudden, funny, person. heartfelt, yes. and warm. Paul Feig directs an ensemble of the most hilarious chicks ever oh. in the movie that finally, finally yeah, proves no, once and for all to Hollywood and to the world that women too can poop their pants. Okay. Like everywhere. Yeah, like all over the place. Ah, bridesmaids should not win. I I'm like engaged. that with oh that woman though. I think she's hysterical. What, Kristen Wiig? What are we doing no, for the not her, the other party. one. Oh, uh, oh, 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 you mean uh, Swimming Talks from, uh, fucking, uh, Reno 911. Reno 911. I think she's really funny. Oh my gosh, she was the best actress. Ready? 
Melissa McCarthy was great, but uh, Melissa McCarthy was the best part of that movie. Uh, I, I, she was good. She was the best part. Yeah, she I was think, the uh, best part of that movie. Uh, I think uh, Johnson from Reno 911. She was the best part. I'm sorry. I want to apologize. I'm not even confident of which end I came out of. It, come on, now. She was the funniest part of that movie. Caitlin. I love Caitlin. I'm not going to say that they want to make another Ghostbusters movie, and they want to have a woman, Jane Lynch. Are they going to kiss? Best choice. Shut! God damn it, sir! Stop being a pervert. The common misconception I'm just saying, they could kiss. is could that actors out. are really I, I wouldn't look away. Play on TV. Oh, like, oh, like For Jane example, Lynch and Tina Fey. Like okay, that's some. Are, oh yeah, let's make tonight. that happen. Oh and shit! Yeah, let's do that. Look, it's Sasha Baron Cohen. And I am nothing like Liz Lemon. Like, yeah, bitches, do it. Heels. Prove it. Oh, whatever. The nominees in our next category are also nothing like the how tall is Jane Lynch? Play. She's six feet. Although, of course, yeah. Matt LeBlanc is Matt LeBlanc. And how oh, tall Thomas is Jane Jane really is? She's tall. A I, high I, school I, coach. She's got to be. Oh, Venus go Jones. Alec Baldwin. Yeah. Fuck Alec Baldwin. He should not. Hey, motherfucker. Here are the nominees for best actor in a TV series. Hey, comedy, either Alec musical. Baldwin or David Duchovny for the win. David Duchovny, Californication. Did they just say Big Bang? Yeah, they did. Why, the, why is that guy wearing that? Johnny Galecki, the Big Bang King. <laughs> hey, Thomas, dude, Thomas Jane can wear whatever the fuck he wants. Jane, You're Tom. automatically an asshole when you wear a fedora. Hey, 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 hey Bo, Bo wears a fedora. Yeah, and he can fuck Alex himself. Alvin. Everyone Duh. looks terrible with one of those. I hate that. Jason Murphy wears a fedora, bitch. And the Golden bitch. Globe goes to... You're just proving Dad, that. He's, made a, he's finally made his comeback from uh, Lost in Space. Thank God. Don't remind me of that no. terrible fucking movie. I loved that this movie when I was a kid. I, I, I wasn't a kid, but I, 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 I initially thought it was cool. But yeah, actually and think I, about yeah. it. Yeah, and I loved Wild Wild West as a kid. What the fuck does that tell you? See Will Smith in that movie. Yeah, tell you you Will Smith is awesome. That's what it tells you. Hell yeah, it is because that movie is very like. Oh, uh -huh, I have an almost French last name. I'm so cool. Oh, so. <laughs> Hi. Um, first of all, thanks to the Hollywood You're just yelling he looks good uh, with graying hair. Huge honor. Oh. Thank you to Showtime. It's because he has gel. Putting the show on Without the that gel, he would be thanks. nothing. Showtime, Matt Blank, David Hi. Nevins, Gary Levine. You guys have uh, been really super supportive. I'm surprised thanks none so of us is doing a how you doing thanks show. To, um, I'm, I'm a impressed. great cast. It's been an awesome... Awesome experience. Doesn't mean I want you guys to do it. Guys, that's fucking all. Thanks to my mom, who's always been there behind me 100. percent And most importantly, I think thanks to. Um, but now Matt producers. LeBlanc will pawn that award for writers, producers, whatever he uh, Jeffrey Clarick and David Crane. Put it up his butt because it's the only award you'll ever get. Oh, hold in the highest regard. Hey, all right. To be writers, fair, Sam, Sam, episodes is actually is actually great. Is it really? It's not great, but it actually is a very interesting show. Oh, I really want a cup of tea. The commercial needs to come on. Just come on. Yes! Where's the Silver Linings Playbook? Hi, I'm going to be the crow. No, you're not. No, you know you're not. You would be awesome. You would be so good. Uh, each of the women in this category Sam gave just got unforgettable performances that went far beyond the definition of the word supporting. I, I appreciate Here are the nominees that. for Best She's Supporting Actress win. in the Motion Picture. Oh, Who's yeah. got, what, what, what is this? Oh, Supporting Actress in a Comedy? No. Uh, Jessica Chastain, The Help. Oh, I don't know. Oh, so, no, just Best Actress. No, that's the shoe. Janet McTeer, Albert no. Nobbs. Oh, what? Is that the... Oh, God. You did choose to be a teenager. You don't deserve anything, you bitch. Wait, wait, whoa. What are you talking about? I'm saying you're a descendant. Yay! I'm going to globe goes to. Oh, Octavia did win. Please cry. Octavia? Can they give it to the most talented men? Alright, Octavia Spencer. Chris Tucker, you're still alive. Please cry. I noticed he was in the audience. I was like, where did he come from? Chris Tucker, man! Oh, I'm all right. Cry. Love Octavia Spencer, but I thought just could Chastain did a better job. Hi. But yeah, I, I'm glad. I love the help. Just because Chastain was, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, Octavia Spencer. I enjoyed it. I loved it. Although, 
I really didn't expect a shit joke in that movie. That wasn't a joke. That <laughs> was not a joke. Damn. You go into a fucking movie, you see the trailers for the help, you see the poster, you don't expect someone to eat a pot made of shit in that movie. Yeah, okay, fine, but that wasn't a joke. This is, um... I'm sorry, was that not... Really? Uh... Uh, seriously? <laughs> Nuts. Um, thank you to the Hollywood Porn Press. <laughs> Seriously. Um, you know, with regard to um, domestics in this country now and then, I think Dr. King said it best. All labor that uplifts humanity has dignity and importance, and I thank you for um, recognizing that. Melissa McCarthy is just upset since this is one award she's never going to get. Um, Which, by the way, Brunson she Green totally did Chris not Columbus, deserve that Nathan, Emmy for Mike Spielberg, and Molly. Stacey Snyder, Chip Sullivan, uh, Holly Barrio, everybody at DreamWorks, everybody. Um, <laughs> uh, Rich Ross, Stephanie Cluft, um, Kevin Campbell, everybody at Disney. Uh, Ricky, I'm, like, I'm just trembling here. Oh my God, I'm gonna fall. Hey, Nicole Kidman, okay. I still fuck you. Uh, Ricky Strauss and uh, Jonathan King, everyone at participants, our amazing casting crew, my team at WME, Brian. This Christian, is just here uh, to go and glow. Their names are like Brian Christian, Brad Slater. Uh, my team what? at uh, Carl Austin, uh, uh, Viewpoint, LA, Melissa Case, Melissa Fonzino, Bria Schreiber, my family, and uh, the most amazing cast and crew and Table 10. Thank you again. All right, here's hoping I get on there. Holy crap, that's a whole lot of star power right there. The celebration continues as Golden Globe royalty wow. Sydney Poitier and Helen Mirren present the Camilla Ward to Morgan Freeman next. Hey, you know when when Morgan Freeman start talking, Tim Tebow will go down in his uh in his pose. Damn shotgun! What the hell? Hello? Hello? You still there? Hello? Have I really been muted this whole time? I hope not. Hello. Somebody sitting there. So, uh, Steve, why don't you start talking? You sit there all quiet and stuff. Speak up. What tell you about that? Uh, easy play. Easy playing video like games. Spying on us or something? You just sitting there listening. Yeah, I'm listening like I'm listening to a podcast. What? What are you guys talking about? Steve, you don't say anything because he's spying on us. <sighs> you know, it's cool to read the Entertainment Weekly on my tablet. I'll be right back. Is that free? It's free if you have a subscription. If you, if you get the magazine in the mail, then you can get it on your tablet. You're subscribed to Entertainment Weekly? It cost me $10 a year. Okay, but I could still think of a better way to spend $10. Skyrim. Well, Skyrim. I got an episode that Batman was on the cover. That is pretty cool. Look at T-Bow, he's running for his life. He's running for his life. Oh my! The last time I've seen my battle. 
Or robot chicken comes on. Do you actually watch Robot Chicken? Robot Chicken's awesome. Robot Those Chicken awesome. is not as good this year as it was last year, but you gotta watch Robot Chicken. When was it ever good? Oh, Robot Chicken has some great seasons. Last year was the best. When they was making fun of um of uh, I'm Leslie No and I approve this message. Commanded with the with the roast and everything. The Golden Globes uh, continue. Yeah, From the right. upcoming film, This Means War, please welcome Reese Witherspoon. So, uh... The trustee of land in Hawaii on the brink of being sold finds his life turned upside down when his philandering wife falls into a coma. How he deals with this connects with his children and comes to closure is the focus of this masterfully directed film by nominated Descent. director and my friend Alexander Payne. Okay, guys. Sorry, since we're here, George we're talking. Clooney, Everybody's saying, how, what, in what world does a woman cheat on George Clooney for I'm Matthew Lillard? The understudy. This one's all world. I've been doing really well, actually. Yeah. Nobody ever seems nervous about. Well, when he's not what? George Clooney in that world, my daughter's character. Me. Even though, no, you really look at him. Do you? Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I, 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 every woman of every race of every ethnicity looks to George Clooney. I'm water. not counting you, but everyone I've met of every race of every ethnicity of every gender. Take one look at George Clooney. Jordan would do George Clooney, wouldn't he, Jordan? He loves it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a After we did with Batman, I doubt it. Winner. Oh, man, they pulled out Sydney Portier. Sydney Portier. Yeah. Way to overwhelm me. He was cool to be black before it was cool to be black. Oh, Why is dear he, God. He just cry like a baby. Who's older, him or Morgan Freeman? I, I don't know. Dude, you want to something fucked up? It's the same person. <laughs> I forgot why I was here. <laughs> Morgan Freeman. <laughs> he he seems like he's about to fall asleep during his speech. <laughs> that you infuse <laughs> the character. <laughs> They're gonna make my heart so much. Black actor. Horror. Before Morgan Freeman took my you place, you become the character. The character becomes you. Your audience. And so begin. This should a be me getting this award. I was dating audience. white women before Morgan Freeman was Even dating white women. <laughs> of Spencer Tracy. Hey, you know what? It'd be true. Lawrence Olivier, Marlon Brando, and Canada Lee. I had a Grammy, I mean, I had an Would Oscar before Morgan Freeman had an Oscar. Your process. Were they I had a slap us? hole before Morgan Freeman was even slap hole. In my holes. humble opinion, sir, you are indeed a that. prince. I was the first person, In first black man on camera to smack a chosen. white man on camera. We thank you, Mr. Freeman. It was Freeman, the best time of my life. For raising the level of then shit went politically yes. correct. Another notch. And now you don't see much of me nowadays, do you? Welcome aboard, Morgan Freeman. May your journey be long and your I guess look see how old he is. Too much. Congratulations. You just noticed that? That's a good Please welcome three-time Golden Globe winner, Helen Mirren.
Well, I'm really sorry, but what? after Sydney, I'm going to lower the tone somewhat. Ooh. Because I've had a couple of glasses of wine, and this may not seem like the appropriate time I, I to bring know. this up, but I do have they a bone to pick her with to play Morgan Dr. Freeman. No, no, no. Oh, sorry. He's made she over wants to play Dr. Who. And I've only Why? seen one of them. Red. I mean, I was complaining about this to Sydney just now, and he said, Helen, join the club. At least you're in one of the films. <laughs> I mean, there was no reason Miss Daisy couldn't have been English. All you, all you would have had to do was drive on the wrong side of the road. Well, I mean, of course, in England, we think of it as the right side of the road. Well, it, it's not actually on the right side of the road. It's on the left side of the road, you know. You know what? Is right. Did Roma her playing Doctor Who? It'd be Glad great. I cleared that up. If, they, if she played Doctor Who. Really, no. Morgan, just one movie with you? For God's sake. I mean, okay, he was born in 1927, so that would make him how old? 37. So let's have the pleasure of watching Mr. Freeman at My work. grandfather was in born in seven. Sorry, 30. He would in. be 78 right now. Well, come on so in. So stand there. Add three years to that. We so we we they got us. Which fast He's 81. He's 81. He's 81. He's 81. I like how it's so movies. They show fast black and I. No. No. In his long and what? inspired career, Bastard, you stole his quest new for the truth has illuminated the Oh, come on now, don't be showing this bullshit, Miss Daisy. Morning, Miss Daisy. Did you have the air condition check? I told you to have the air condition check. Yeah, some, I got the air condition check. I don't know what for. Huh? Money I, don't for it on. On. I haven't seen this Who's movie. This is really fucking good. What? People die every day, Frank. Surfer. If she dies yes. today, million dollar baby. Be. What about it? Yeah, it's right. okay. No, I'm not it. Maybe some I don't care though. It's freaking so sad at the end break. though. It's yeah. It's it's break break. Break. You know, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make a comment page or a picture Young, of me. Kid. It's gonna be a motivational picture. It says, "Come on now." Every time I try to flat, that's what I want to see. It's gonna say every time Harris says, "If you." Watch this scene, blank, blank, and you don't tear up, blank, blank. I have no soul. Because literally, I have watched some stuff that made people tear up and cry and ball out, crying like, okay, I guess it's supposed to be emotional. It is fast black. Look at it. I'm not crying. I, I, I don't. I, my tears aren't being jerked. I don't know what you guys will expect me to do. I mean, people were shocked and almost wanted to fight me because I didn't tear up during the movie. This movie I haven't seen, but I already know it's in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? I need to see this. I bet it's fucking amazing. Stay away from me now. Don't come in here. Unforgiven. Yes. John Doe has the upper hand. You still have an expensive rifle. I still knock you out. Cut up a woman. Guess they got it coming. Well, when did you get a shoot? What about? I'm God. What about? Are you serious? Perhaps you should read the instructions first. Who are you? What about the first Batman? Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Batman begins. Who is that? It is so familiar. This is the story of our Batman. Like my love story, it begins with an act of utter foolishness. Belong to a man of unique abilities. Take a bow. <laughs> oh, yes, I heard this fucking terrible. For bucket list? Yeah. It's not that bad. He's lifted our spirits. This is living. <laughs> this I heard was pretty baller. And opened our hearts. Forgiveness liberates the soul. That is why it is such a powerful weapon. Ever since I was a young boy. People love the sound of my voice. He was the best part of that Robin Hood movie. He was. Oh, gosh. Who he went way back for that one. They just shout Trump. I should take that as compliment. Well, remember, I don't, I, I'm not watching it. I know, but I'm saying, we didn't just win a random movie. Mm. Yay. He deserves to, they should just give him two trophies. Because it's the fucking Morgan Freeman. 
now we must go to the after party where our white women are awaiting us. <laughs> yeah, your pretty good. You know, it's it's funny. Like, what, I, I, look, I, I, one time there was a picture, right? There was a bunch of black at, male actors Thank at a you. party, right? Mm -hmm. And every Thank one you. of them was was married to a, a, a white Thank woman. You. It was, Thank it's you, like, Helen. it was like a club, like, you couldn't go to this party I can't unless, really you, you know, it, it was so funny to see this picture. How it feels to be up here being touted by a woman I love so much. <laughs> no sense, Taylor. Uh, we are the distinguished black you know gentlemen of Hollywood. <clears throat> uh, working with you on Red was great fun, really great fun. <laughs> But I learned one thing. <laughs> Watching you handle a gun makes me know I never Bar want to piss you off. So, Nero's outside. I'm sitting. Bar which one? Huh? Which one is it? Which neighbor? No, which Being dog? Here oh, this mine. Award. Chelsea. No, which Tribute. dog? You have two. You yeah, mine. Chelsea. Getting the it from one. you. Chelsea's yours? Yes, of course, the white one's yours. Hey! <laughs> that though they call the processor be the said circus dog. In my house, it can also be known as the signal fuck you. Yeah. Uh, now I'm gonna try and get all this said in a very short time. In my movie career, I got to save the world, solve some crimes, commit some crimes, drive Miss Daisy, be Nelson Mandela, play the President of the United States, and even God. Looking at all those clips from all those films that I made of all those years, struck by two things. I got to play with people that I really, really admire. And how much fun. Hey, uh, Moxie, we're gonna bring Moxie back it's in. It's been said that if you do what you love, <laughs> what is your you'll never work a day in your life. Well, well, Moxie? Well, that's the case for the past yes. 45 years or so, I've Why? never had this, to this work. This is my obsession. Don't worry about it. Because my passion in life has always been acting. And that have been 58 men and women before me who received the DeMille Award. People like Gregory Peck, Clint Eastwood, Sophia Loren, and your Fonda, Mr. Poitier. So I am I'm glad we cleared it truly, up. They're not the same person. That you consider me worthy <laughs> of being in that company. My thanks to Fair all of you for your it. wonderful support. That was a lovely And my speech. deep thanks to the Hollywood Foreign Press for this award. Thank you so much. The party's still going strong. Yeah, you know the Next funny up, part is Helen Mirror was the only person on stage just now. Oh wow, that's right. Because he's like what? history. The Golden Globes on NBC. Helen Mirror? Yeah. She's in her sixties. No, there's no way. She's gotta be late fifties. Uh, I don't know. Let me let me look. Does that think she's like fifty eight or something like that? I think he's in a Yeah, I'm, I'm for Helen Mirren playing Doctor Who. Uh, right. You know what? She was born in 45. How old is that make her? The, the show? No, Helen Mirren. Oh, 45? Hold on, where's my calculator? That Shit. makes it in her 60s. Yeah, she's 60s. <laughs> you were right, I was wrong. My mother was born in 40. And she's in her 70s. John Carter. Is oh. that going to be any good? I hope so. It looks all right. I mean, I'm leaning more towards bad on that movie. I'm a John Carter fan, so I hope the movie turns out. Hey, is that how he is super powerful in that movie? No, it's like... It's, it's, it's like... Tarzan and Flash Gordon combined. That sounds weird. Because <laughs> he's, he's flying and he's jumping with super strength. 
Is that how is it in the book? Oh. No, he's it's like Conan, barbarian type stuff. Okay. He wasn't flying, he was on a rope just now. The way he was jumping, I, as if he was on the wire or something. <laughs> it's like Conan and Tarzan and, and Flash Gordon. Have you read the books? Yeah. I read I read a couple of books. I read more of the comic book back in the day than the actual novels. <laughs> Didn't Marvel do do some of the Well back in the day? Yeah. Yeah, they had the rights to John Carter and then now they're doing it now. They're doing yeah, all the things. That's the tie to the movie. Is anybody watching this? Is what? anybody watching the stream? No, I, I didn't know there was a stream. Uh, Splinter's doing a stream. I know he's doing a stream. He wants to know if anybody's watching it. I can't watch the stream and, be, and you know, it messes it up. I can't watch his stream. I can't watch going on. If I had a, if I didn't have a TV, I Milk would, King, with an all-star tribute to I would be watching the stream. She wants all the mute so we can watch the stream, which then we all be muted, and, and then not hearing anything through the stream. Will Smart, what's not to like about Liz Lemon's new boyfriend on Thirty Rock? Thanks, like buddy. His voice goes up at the ends of sentences. Very masculine. James Marsden, Kelsey Grammer, Denise Richards, star on Thirty Rock. This room is moving. Thursday on NBC. No mute, so there isn't feedback when you watch the stream. The voice begins with these blind auditions. Our chairs are facing away from the stage, so we Did have the no bird idea what is going on behind bird. us. When is the Angry Bird movie going to happen? Here are these quiet footsteps. God, no. That was real. The audience is all a hush. That was real. They're just waiting on pins and needles for what those no, that first wasn't the angry sound bird. like. I was promoted with Angry Birds. Yeah, no, I, I, I play never. Angry Birds Rio. Welcome back to the Golden Globes. And now from Sherlock oh, Holmes, hello. Game of Shadows, two-time Golden Globe winner, Robert oh, Downey right. Jr. Chaplin, Lang, Hitchcock, Ford, Lubitsch, Wilder, Downey, Senior. Brilliant risk takers throughout the history of cinema. Okay, Our who's next playing movie what? is an incredible tribute to those pioneers. The story proves that as the world changes for better or worse, it is always love that triumphs. And an outstanding ensemble cast reminds us you can still feel so much, yet say so little. It is my pleasure to present the daring and euphoric Golden Globe nominated best film, motion picture, musical or comedy, The Artist. Watching the Golden Globe. Yeah, we're watching the Golden Globe. Not over yet. No, because people have been winning and taking too much time with their speeches and stuff. It always is two and a half hours. And then, of course, when Peter Dinklage won, they cut him short. Of course. Because they didn't have enough time, right? Angelina Jolie. What the hell? Good evening. Five wonderful. She don't need to be having lipstick that red, looking like a skeleton. <laughs> For midnight in Paris, Woody Allen. For the Ides of March, George Clooney. For the artist, Michelle 
has any really? issues. Really? This is best of record. They give it to the yeah. artist. It's well, awesome. artist takes everything. Alexander no, Payne. it's going to go to Scorsese. Nope. For Hugo, Martin Scorsese. He got his. <laughs> That's all. Oh! And the Golden that? Globe goes My to... My bad. <laughs> Martin Scorsese. Yeah. Hugo. That was the only real nomination on That being said, I haven't seen it. The artist is very entertaining if you can sit through a silent film. I can. I love silent film. I thought that the first like half hour of Wally was some of the most brilliant filmmaking I've ever seen. I cannot stand Wally. Wally the man! You Chat. have no soul. I'm disappointed. Thank you. Thank oh, I'm you. sorry. I like I, I Thank you so much. It's a, I think you take the remains. You have no soul. Thank you, Hollywood Foreign Press. It's this good. is good. 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 absolutely wonderful. I cannot stand it because I can just... Thank you also, Hollywood Foreign Press, for the extraordinary work you do on preservation and restoration of cinema. I am nothing if you speak now. It's a void of hatred. And yeah, I have to Joy. thank uh, 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 my love to my wife, Helen. Oh, sorry. Uh, and because we have I'm a... I'm sorry. A I just... Uh, I didn't mean to do. I meant to say uh, shadow. She read this beautiful Either book way, it's still Charles accurate, but still, the, uh, I'm sorry. Um, the invention of Hugo I Cabaret, enjoyed it up until we got to that you, you know, final where why don't you make a film reveals its message and was like... So we I'm did. sorry. I, I don't need this much Francesca. time for that. King. It hits you over and the Tim head Eddington with that message the whole time. It doesn't take anything away from you. To Pat me, it does. The film and my, uh, my, well, they're trying, just, they my trying to save Rick the point here. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And uh, Chris Donnelly. Yeah. And, the, and then the, there's the, the whole don't get fat, work out, don't be lazy. I mean, I get that, but I get that. 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 Um, Helen McCrory, Chris Lee, I feel like that should um, happen now. John Logan's possible. script, and of course, um, uh, my producer Emma Tell and Drew, Drew Cadenas, and my great assistant That's director, awesome. Chris Sergeant, um, Bob Richardson's beautiful cinematography, particularly in 3D, Dante Verretti's sets. Oh my uh, God, Mark Scorsese, you're boring me to death. Thelma Schoonmaker's that. wonderful editing. <laughs> Mark Scorsese, they're not going to cut him off either. Visual effects. He's and like Steve Spielberg. You don't come off unless um, you all work again. Uh, thank you, thank you all so much. And thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> That is fucking weird. Look at all the fun. Oh. Well, of course Hello. you're gonna be getting drunk. Moving on. Yeah, but he's drinking beer out I of the wine glass. I can't wait to introduce oh, I, our next I presenters. Gonna go and go, it's Salma Hayek and Antonio Banderas, so point. you can see why I'm excited. Hmm. I love their work. For many well, who years, be your sitting and I buddy? just got to talk to them for the first time, so I made up. Um, they're ridiculously gorgeous specimens. <laughs> they're extremely talented oh. and probably very interesting. Antonio sure, Banderas. Please welcome Salma Hayek and Antonio Banderas. You know what? Banderas. When he did uh, Philadelphia, I didn't even realize that was him. Bye. Let me answer to Ricky. That's how young he was Ricky. at the time he did fill it off. He was Tom Hanks' lover. In this time, Hanks is lover. Well, 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 the other two nominees have remained examples <laughs> of innovative and fresh television. Is that the show? Here are the nominees. Enlightened. Fuck that. Episodes. Oh. Hell yeah. Glee. Walking Dead. Real girl. Comedy or musical? Modern really? Walking Dead? Walking Dead's pretty fun. Walking Dead's not over. I gotta admit, if they, I mean... I mean, I admit, they might have rated it yeah. if it had and used its Golden full season Globe up, but through? it's still, like, stopped Mother and it was like, oh, so we really can't judge you or anything. No, 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 it's, every TV show has a hiatus. Yeah, but it's between seasons. What? Some TV shows go middle season. A few of the TV shows were in a hiatus for a while, though. Yeah, I'm still waiting for Secret Saturdays. No, I saw a Secret, a Secret Saturday uh, DVD in the Far Below store. 
Plus... <laughs> and then, why did all this happen? Why does this happen to all the shows I love? Hey, the stuff I don't love, Gracias, or don't like, Antonio. but think is good, Gracias, he's going. I think the stuff I don't like is good, I just don't like it, because it isn't... I don't she is so, she is so freaking annoying. Award, tonight we accept in two languages. You don't like her? I think she's funny as shit, man. You don't like Zoe Deschanel? No, the one talking. Hmm. Who's talking? Because remember, I have no TV. Is that that, uh, oh, what's the name? She was real annoying, uh, Thank you to New the Modern Eve. Family writers who are so funny you and so sexy. All oh, the itty bitty were there! I see all the movies, I see it for free. Why do you see everything for free? You watch them online? No, I go to the advanced screenings. You get into everything. I work hard at it. <laughs> yep, it is like a. They may job. look pasty and nervous and out of shape, but they're the greatest lovers I've ever had. I don't work hard. I just move up. Steve got tickets for the Seriously. gray. You did, dude. Steve, can I go with you? It's on Wednesday. Hey, you want to take it to the gray? Hold on a second. Up next, Mark Wahlberg. Do any less? You can get yourself. Really? I'm getting picture, table? comedy, or musical. Yeah. The Golden Globes on NBC. Silver Surfer. Yeah. Where do you live? Philly. Oh. Checked your photo yesterday. I thought. Now that I'm working, that kind of stuff. You know, see Liam Neeson beat some, nope. some, uh, some wolves' ass. I don't see one for ones that are available. Hold on, chill. I'm chill. Just, just relax. Advanced screening. Let me see if there's still any left first. If I give you this link. You see? What if everything every smile everyone? I just found a great motivational poster. The awkward moment when Neville becomes uh, too late, dude, they're all gone. Well, I'm gonna Steve, do you have a plus one already? Yep. Oh. <laughs> you wanna go? I do wanna go. Uh, I was asking if you already had someone to go with. No, no, I don't have someone going. Oh, okay. Cool. I definitely want to go see that. Okay. Make sure he buys the popcorn, Steve. Why? Because he shouldn't just go just to go make him buy some popcorn. Brought him to screenings with me. Thank you very much. Make sure he get the big refillable bucket. You know, and, and I also helped him skip the entire line in Tintin. How how did you do that? I got there at eight o'clock. Oh, so he got you was there in, in the front of the line. Yep. I showed up after the movie started. I had to stay in line. That's because that was in cause, and your seats would not have been good if it weren't for me. And Moxie was late. All the good things are always taken by the press. There's never any really good seats. But they oh shit, seats. we had amazing seats for 1010. That's still pretty good because usually me and Steve are in like the neck hurting area. We're in the front front seats. That was the I worst. Know. We had pretty good seats for Marcy May Marlene. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's... that's going talk on. about a bullshit movie. That I like that movie. Yeah, that like movie was both. You know, the, the director was there and the actors was there, right? And when the movie was over, you never saw such a mass exodus for the for the door when they was trying to get people to stay for a Q and A. And the guy goes, "Wasn't that good?" And my friend shouted out, "Hell no!" <laughs> for the record, I 
Marcy, Mar I mean Marlene, Marcy May. It's Martha, Marcy May, Marlene. Yeah. So many freaking maids, you can't keep it straight. No, no, no. That's the one with the all the Yeah. Yes. She's really good. I'm never tired. By the way, have you guys seen this Attack the Block? This film set yes. against yes. a sweeping what canvas the fuck? of rural yes. England was, and yes, Europe it was good. tells the story I of a remarkable friendship between a horse I named Joey horrible, but I and a young man it. named like, Albert it's it's during the First World War. I did not get it. Because we follow the extraordinary journey of this miraculous horse. Like I have not horse. seen Super and yet. Before I've been told, it's like, that's what Super 8 should have been. No, no, come on. Now, don't. Super 8 is completely different movies. This you can't compare to this. Yeah. I love yeah. Super 8, and I love I'm Attack the Block. I promise you, Madame LeCon, I like Super 8. I'll return him to you. It was a better movie. You know. But um, I don't get the hype about Attack the Block at all. Even my friends, you know, like, oh, we got a rocket. Like, what the hell do you have to do with a rocket? You should stop. <laughs> I like the face that Steven Spielberg makes when he watches his own stuff. He's like, hmm, this is very good. Yeah, it's something apparent to the face George Lucas makes when he watches his own stuff. Like, oh. How oh, many ways can I make more money of this? I want to take every film, film reel Lucas has ever made and hang him from it. Only He's only made like three or four nominees. films. Jean Dujardin, the yeah, and then he raped all of them. Hey, don't forget the red tails. Don't forget red tails. He made a red tail. Red tail. The uh, he said it didn't matter. Oh, and he's in the they would not exist if they weren't Owen them. Wilson, Midnight in Paris. Yeah, mm -hmm. Marky Mark. Ryan Gosling, Crazy Stupid Love. Uh, I can't read. <laughs> I, I, I want to see how he, what and he the sounds Golden like. Goes to you watch the whole the film and he doesn't talk. So what does he sound like? Ooh. This guy that, that was one best actor for the artist. I don't know. He's European, right? Yeah, French. So it probably sounds like a French guy. He's going to come on stage and sound like this. <laughs> I heard that was Thank really you. I oh, see, see, the thing was, like, he, he okay. was a great star, uh, solid film, too. and then they started uh, doing talkies, and he couldn't yeah, you the make the Hollywood transition. And like the whole time you're uh, wondering why and to the end you hear him time, talk and he sound like a clown. Yeah, don't know. <laughs> when I was starting out and they jumped say to me, you're going to do movies. Wasn't that the big joke of Groucho Marx that he had a Too expressive, too big. But Groucho Marx wasn't like a solid actor that became a, um, so my fourth, my eyebrows you know, tried, couldn't make the transition. He was always into talking film, no, he was a comedian. I'm always no, I'm, I'm sorry, not that so much. To fight for Holy my crap. dreams. So I want to thank him for Wasn't letting that Whoa, Joseph Gordon-Levitt looked like he was going to cry. Thank you, uh, thank you, uh, Michel Azadavicius, for having written this incredible role for me. Isn't that now how he normally looks? Thank you, my friend. Even in the yeah. Batman trailers, he's like, working with you. Oh, is he about to cry? Is he about to die? Thank I can't you, tell. No, it's because his, 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 his eyes were all teared up. Thank you, Bob and Harvey. And our great ensemble, James, John, Penelope, Missy, Malcolm, and my wonderful screen partner, Bernice. And of course, thank you to my beautiful and talented wife. And as Douglas Fairbanks would say, thank you, merci. Whoa, what's the name of that actress who has a terrible hair? Did anyone just see that? Uh, which one? Oh, what's her name? I'm trying oh, to... you're talking about Tilda Swinton? Is that her name? I thought it was something more familiar. She was, she, she was thin and had the gray on? Yes. Yeah, that was Tilda Swinton. <sighs> terrible hair. <sighs> 
I don't find her cute at all. Definitely not. Uh, that would be uh, whoa. It was Julian. Usually, it normally, it's been him. No. Probably was me. It is. Oh no, it's that. Yeah, it's because no. I unmuted my no, I unmuted my computer. Oh, I'm drinking too much soda. Do you drink soda? I love soda. You have a problem. I do. Soda is one of those things I'm really glad I cut out my diet. I need help. I need, I need like real support. Dude, just stop drinking it. It's just okay. drink juice. Cold turkey. Just don't ever drink soda. I cannot go cold turkey with some soda. I I didn't drink soda all last year. Only I drank um a Coca-Cola when I was working a job at the airport for the caffeine and that's it. I bought uh, five 12 packs because it was a can-can sale. Hey. Try, try weaning yourself down. So drink soda only once a week. Yeah, that's easy for you to say. Well, only drink soda on the weekend. I'm drinking soda. Well, I I haven't been taking soda to the movie, so I'm working on it. And and you can't buy like a big twelve liter thing and just drink it all day. A big what? You can't buy like a big liter size soda and drink it all day. No, I don't. I don't buy like big gulps and stuff like that. No, but you'll buy the big twelve liter stuff and just. Nurse it all day. Buy a 12 liter. A 2 liter. A 2 liter? Yes. I can drink that in one night. What are you talking about all day? I mean, pick the can size. I don't know how many. The Super Bowl is on Monday? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, they're doing it on Monday this year? Mm hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, doing well on Monday. Super Bowl. It's in a thousand. What? Why? It's, isn't that a Super Bowl playoff? <laughs> Are you talking about the playoff? Is it over? Much better. No. no, not over. Oh, they do a Super Bowl. Oh, 